Genji, Swift Strike, now has two charges. Refund one Swift Strike charge per elimination. Activating Dragon Blade also refunds one charge. Damage reduced from 50 to 30. Dragon Blade duration reduced from six to three seconds. Fuck. My bad. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, dude, I forgot. Okay, I'm not good at this whole shit. We're just flipping between screens all the time. Swift Strike now has two charges. Refund one Swift Strike per elimination. Activating Dragon Blade also refunds one charge, but it's reduced damage to 30. Dragon Blade reduced from six to three seconds. After Dragon Blade ends, Genji gains 40% faster attack speed for six seconds. Yo Fist, new additional passive. Using a basic ability that dealt no damage to the enemies reduce current cooldown of the other two abilities by one second. Seismic Slam can now be canceled after a 0.2 second delay by pressing the ability input again. Echo, new passive Assimilation. Echo heals for 30% of her current missing health when she gets a final blow? Like we needed more Echo stuff. The healing generates all charge and the, the passive also affects her duplicate copy. Speed increased by 15%. Yeah, this is this is this is this is this is padding for the tournament. Okay, dude. May fully frozen targets take 100% increased quick melee damage from all sources. That's actually kind of cool. Ice wall now launches heroes into the air when built underneath them. Cryo freeze size increased by 50%. Rocket launchers for Farah. Rocket launcher impacts now apply a 25% movement speed reduction for 0.5 seconds. Rocket impact knockback increased by 100%. Now has two ability charges. Enemies knockback by a concussive blast become immune to all knockbacks by 1.5 for 1.5 seconds. So you have two of them now. So this way you can't like double boop someone off the map, but Jugrat no longer has audible footsteps. That's broken. Uh, increased movement speed while detaching from walls. Okay. Sombra machine pistol weapon spread reduced by 20%. Weapon spread reduced by 20%, shots per second increased by from 20 to 24. Jesus Christ. She, so she's literally going to have an Uzi. Just. Uh, hack. Cooldown when interrupted increased from 2 to 3 seconds. Hack duration reduced from 5 to 3.5 seconds. Stealth now has an 8 second maximum duration. No longer plays an audio cue if the ability reaches its full duration. Fashion. Character size reduced by 15%. We actually just saw that. Configuration, recon, ammo increased from 35 Thanks. to 100. Weapon spread increased, but reduced by 20%. Can now be channeling when firing, so self-repair. Hanzo, the dragons now spawn immediately if the arrow impacts terrain. Storm arrow no longer fires the five hour arrows instantly. Now gains a six second buff with the following effects. Lunge cooldown reduced from four to one second. Stormbow movement penalty removed. Stormboard drawn time decreased from 0.75 to 0.45 seconds. Uh, Torbjorn, rivet done. Torbjorn, dealing damage with primary fire adds a stacking buff that increases its damage by 5%. Each buff lasts for 5 seconds. I mean, his hammer already does more than a Rhine hammer, so fuck it, dude. Ash, no longer reloads ammo individually. Now reloads all ammo in, in 2.25 seconds. Coach Gun. Increase from 10 to 13 seconds. Dynamite no longer deals self damage. Explosion no longer has damage fall off. Cassidy, health reduced from 225 to 200. Peacekeeper standard rec rec reduced from 0.5 to 0.42 seconds. Secondary fire removed. Combat roll, cooldown increased from 6 to 8 seconds. Can no longer be used in the air. Reduced visual effects around Cassidy when active. Why do I feel like Wanted nerfed him? Like, yeah, of course, the left click's a massive buff, but like. Nerf, 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 buff, buff. You know, like, eh, what could do? But it is more skill based, so I can't disagree. Reaper, Shadow Step, cooldown decreased from 10 to 5 seconds, can now be used during Wraith Form. Cool. Wraith Form, cooldown reduced from 8 to 4 seconds. Nice. Re no longer reloads your weapon. I like that. No longer applies a movement speed buff. I actually love those Reaper changes. Soldier 76 reduces visual effects around Soldier 76 while active. Pretty decent, but at the same time, a little scary. Uh, Helix Rocket no longer deals self damage. Cooldown increase from six to eight seconds. I wonder if you can't rocket jump because this is something I took into account when I was doing my Zarya changes. 
Uh, I wonder if that's something that they took into account. Grappling hook increased from 12 to 15 seconds. Can now place up to three active mines. Cooldown reduced from 10 to 15 to 10 seconds. Damage reduction from 10, 15 to 10 per second. Effect duration reduced from five to three seconds. Projectile speed increased from 20 to 30. I wonder what, how Kefri feels about that. I feel like that's like a weird change. Pulse bomb, ultimate cost reduced by 50%. What? Explosion damage reduced from 350 to 190 and no longer deals self damage. So sticking squishy doesn't kill them. Interesting. Double dash Genji. That's cool. Only get four maximum slices out of the blade if you literally do nothing else. Ash. My business, my rules. That looks so terrible. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I, you can't you can't be mad at the at the team for that because like they're just trying to like, you know, like they can't animate a whole new reload for her. You know what I mean? But this this is the stupidest looking thing I've ever seen. <laughs> You know what? She puts two bullets in. I wonder if I fire only one bullet, what happens? She still puts two bullets in. That makes sense. All right, Bastion. You want to go Bastion for me, Retro? Just she picked Bastion too. So as you can see, his Bastion is smaller. It kind of looks like Overwatch 2 Bastion, you know? Bastion is much smaller. I can heal on the move. Wait, I don't have a, I don't have a resource to this anymore. You can literally just heal and move. Wait, Bastion's actually really good. Wait, what? What is this? Wait, what the fuck is this? Jake wanted had me scared for a second, but that's that's good. That's fine. Gas can't roll in the air anymore, Just but no oh, right click. I'm trying to right click right now. Roll in the air is removed. Can you high noon for me, Retro? Step right up. So there's no more red glow. That's actually kind of insane. Legitimately, I feel like you get a skin advantage on certain maps. Interesting. And also, if he uses an ability and it doesn't make contact. Did you see the, the timer jump? So you'll see the... Look at the um, the punch indicator, the uppercut indicator. It's going to be six seconds, and when I punch, it drops a second. See? Echo. Flight speed. Personality synchronization, 100%. Not really that big of a change, but back. Echo doesn't really need me. Oh my. Oh my Jesus Christ. All right, next. Genji, where he did. Anzo, okay. With every so, death comes honor. With honor that's normal. Redemption. And then... <laughs> Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's, wait a minute, that's kind of wild, hold on. So Storm Arrow, you have to still pull it back and shoot. Okay, that's kind of insane. Okay, May. Oh my God, it's so big! It's fucking massive! Ready? Yeah, hi, dude. Walls goes crazy, dude. All right, Farah. I will protect the innocent. Uh, so it's hard to test this one, but basically, if you get hit by a rocket, it's a, a slow. Uh, the conk I already showed you guys you won't get conked again if you you get hit by it. I actually think the Reaper changes are pretty good. So first off, it no longer refunds your ammo, which is nice. It doesn't give you a speed boost, but also you can TP while in the Wraith form, which is nice. 
Also, having this on a shorter cooldown makes it so that you don't have, like, you can be constantly re readjusting. And they don't make it faster, so, like, Reaper won't run you down anymore. Like, you know how, like, Reaper before could just, like, wraith at you and just, like, Ooh, and then just, like, start rolling you, you know, and then TP and reload or whatever? This way, it, it kind of focuses more on, like, Reaper having good positioning and good movement and good, like, ways to get in. Soldier, I'm curious, do I still get booted? I do. Okay, so they actually accounted for that. Um, so no longer self damage, and you get an adjustment on the boop. Yo, Rusha, you want to go uh, soldier for me really quick? What is that melody? Tactical visor activated. Oh my god! It literally it doesn't show the visor over his face. He literally just, you know. All right, Sombra's got a fucking upgrade to her fucking glack glack. You know what I'm saying? Oh my Jesus Christ! That was body shots. That is body shots. It's not that bad on, on a Reaper, but... Okay, if you hit some headshots, that's kind of... The range on it's still... Wait a minute, this is... Wait a minute, this is the most un... This is the most bullshit thing I've ever seen. What? Torb? It stacks as he does more damage, so let's see. Um, Tracer. Okay, so this one is interesting. So Pulse Bomb no longer does 350 damage. So you do have to shoot him a little bit. Um, I think there was some other changes too, but I honestly forgot off the top of my head. That's the major one to show at least. Um, and Widowmaker. One shot. So one it goes shot. on cooldown for the ten seconds, but you get three of them. Thank you. It's not about the size of the hammer; it's what you do with it. Listen, don't leak the whole chat. You got a small hammer, man. Don't, don't leak that. You keep that to yourself. So, all right. So those are, I think I've got them all for the DPS changes.